Hi guys. Uh, this we this month in my creative year, our topic is old and new, and we're here for a week two video, in which we talk about selfies, and um, not in the way that you probably think. I have done a lot of work for different classes and things over the years, where I've made stencils of my face, I've drawn my face, painted my face. Um, one of the favorite things to do in my traveler's notebook or my journal that where I'm documenting my journey for the year is to just every now and then, of course, add pictures, friends and family, but also myself. Um, that being said, I'm not super keen on looking at my face all the time. And I know you're like, but wait, you're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. Uh, anyway. Um, one of the um, things that I really like to do when I'm painting from ever anybody's faces or adding anybody's face to something is alter it in an app on my iPad before I do anything with it. And there's a couple of them that I used to use that no longer work with the current version of the Apple operating system called Auto Painter. So if you have an older Apple auto, uh, operating system and um, you can download those, I do recommend them. They work really well. Um, with the new Apple operating system, there's a couple that work. There's Mobile Monet. And so I'm going to open the app and then I'm going to go to my photo library and I'm going to pick my face <laughs> and it'll automatically turn it into a pencil sketch and then I can go here to the oh wait I can go to here and I can adjust the brush size to be smaller or bigger kind of depending on how abstracted I want my face to be and then yeah there we go and then I can slide it like to the color that I want and then I can leave it as the drawing if I want, or I can sort of do this. You can adjust the vibrancy and brightness, contrast. I forget what this little button does. Oh, it takes out some color. It's been a while since I played with it. So you can just play with it until you get something that you're really happy with. And then once you are, you can click up here and save it to your photo library. There is another one called, well I have this one called Auto Paint, but um, it mostly I think works with live pictures. So like right now you're looking up at the camera. <laughs> um, which might be interesting actually if you're looking up at the camera. Talk about the ultimate selfie. Um, you have me and the camera. That actually might be interesting. But I'm not really I don't know. How, I, I'm not great at using this one, so I'm not sure. Uh, and then we have Clever Painter, which I actually like. So Clever Painter is interesting. So in Clever Painter, you go and you find a photo. I have to scroll back to the beginning where my selfies are. <coughs> and you click on More, and you have these choice for colored backgrounds, or you know, abstracted random color backgrounds. Let's pick the teal one this time. And then different kind of brush styles. Um, I'm going to choose this scratchy one, number eight. And then you go back and you're thinking, okay, but where's the photo? Because it's not there. Oh, wait. Let's see. There we go. So it reveals the photo and then you can refine the parts of it that you want. Refine the shapes, detail. When you're doing a face, even if you're doing an expressive face, you kind of want some details. 
Well, in my opinion, I mean, there are artists out there that can do uh, figures and faces and, you know, do a great job with it and not really have any realistic features at all. I'm not one of those. Um, and you could leave it at that or you could keep going. until you get something you like and then again click on let's see wait um, action photo library save to photo library once you've created a selfie that you like and there was a text message from my cousin there I'll have to answer in a minute um, go to your camera roll and find the one that you like Oh, stop. Albums. Okay. So I did a few different ones. Uh, edit. Let's turn it the right way around. And let's turn this one the right way around. There we go. Okay. So I... I like this one. I think my favorite one is this one. It's just a turquoise colored um, pencil sketch of my face and I really like that one so I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to turn on my LG Pocket Photo. You don't have to have one of these to do this. You could have any Pocket Photo printer or regular printer. Um, just print it um, to a size that will fit in your journal. This one has small paper already in it. If you're printing it on a regular printer, you're going to want to size it to be appropriate for your journal. I'm going to go here to, let's see, I think it's up here. Yeah, here. My Pocket Photo printer has its own app. Allow, okay, okay. <clears throat> Skip. Close. Okay. Um, close. So I'm going to go to I'm going to go to try to find that photo. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to switch to my phone. That's the nice thing about having Apple devices. <laughs> Um, so we're going to switch to my phone, um, and LG Pocket Photo, because the Pocket Photo doesn't want to sync to the iPad right at this moment, which is fine. Um, Here we go. So here's the picture that we want. Oops, sorry. Here's the picture that we want. It, I've opened it in the Pocket Photo Printer app. If you have a different kind of printer, you're going to have a different app. Um, or you can just, um, if you've ta done this with your phone or iPad and you have a PC, then take your photo that you like, download it into a Dropbox file, um, and grab it on your PC from there, or easier yet, email it to yourself and grab it off of your email on your PC and then print it from there. Just again, make sure that you resize the printer, I mean the photo, to fit in your journal. I'm using a traveler's notebook and the paper that's in here is a good size for that already, so I can bypass a couple steps. So now I want to click on this, and again, it's having trouble connecting to the device. Why is it? There we go. Okay, so now it's connected. I'm pretty well known around here for not having this charged when I want to use it. Like I'm always complaining about myself and not charging it. So anyway. So I clicked on the little printer icon and then this came up. 
I like the way it's positioned and everything, so I'm going to click print the photo. And it's sending it to the printer. And while I'm waiting for that to print, we're going to zoom back out again. There we go. I'm going to open my traveler's notebook here. I need to add some more words to my little dashboard. Give you all a little, little flip through how it looks so far. I really love this page. And where are we going to put our selfie? I think we'll put it. It's February. I need to put the calendar in here, but I think I'm going to put the selfie right here. Well, that's printing. I'm going to grab a piece of canvas. Um, from last week's video and try to remember if I can where I put the little calendar bits and bobs for my traveler's notebook. Let me find a few pieces. I'll be okay. right back. You know, you put things away and then you forget where you put them. So anyway, I found the March calendar. So let's give it a little trim. I could drag out the paper cutter, but I don't feel like it right now. So I'm going to stick this in with um, tape runner. Oops. As I'm filming this, February's not quite over yet, so I think actually I'm going to skip a page and I'm going to go here. And you can see there's already some like washi tape um, embellishments on the paper. Just trying to use up some bits and pieces. I'm going to, I think, take this piece of canvas, which is from a, obviously a bigger painting, as I said last week, happens to have a little silhouette of a bird on there. And I'm going to just staple it in. I like staples. Hopefully I just got one piece of paper, not two. Oh, no, I got two. Well, that's all right. <laughs> it's going to stay that way now. Um, and then I'm going to... I like that. Do I want to fold it over? No, I don't think so. I like that it sticks out. I think I want to fold it over. Make it like a tab. And take my selfie and I'm gonna put it over here. This is now this paper happens to be sticker paper for my pocket photo. It's a little more expensive than the regular paper, but I don't have to worry about tape or glue, and it's especially handy when I'm traveling. So there we go. I do also have this um, pocket page thing that was sent to me, I think by Cindy Utter. I kind of want to stick this in here somewhere. There's a lot of stuff going on. 
next month. And I think I want to get this in here. So I don't think I want to be too crazy about how it goes in. I think we're going to just use elastic. And uh, speaking to that, no, that's the wrong one. I have a Midori. I don't know, one of these, a little Midori rubber band. It's a big rubber band for putting things into your Midori or adding um, journals in it. This is not a Midori. This is a generic traveler's notebook. I think the company name is Zilch or something. Um, but it's the same size as a Midori, so that works. And I, I, can st I have some upcoming events and things. I can stick tickets and like pamphlets and memorabilia in there, and I, I like that idea. So that's coming along very nicely. Now let's go back to the center. Put this back in. There we go. My thing came off. There we go. So, and then I have these dashboards that I've made to put underneath the paper so that it makes it nicer to write on here when I'm gonna write on here. So that's how my Creative Year journal looks so far. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do with your journals, with selfies in your journals. You can do something like this, and especially if you're like me and you're like, God, I don't want to add my face to anything else. Turn your face into a drawing or a painting and try working with it that way. Um, I really love when I'm going to paint a face to turn it into a drawing or a painting and then paint from that picture rather than the realistic one. I get too caught up with trying to match the photo exactly and then being frustrated when I can't or don't. So if it's already abstracted and painted like a, um, a drawing or a painting, that's easier and less stressful for me. There's, so there's another tip. So I hope you have fun with this week's prompt. I would love to see what you do. Join us over in the Facebook group, My Creative Year, uh, to do that and to get all kinds of hints, tips, help, materials, lists, and that sort of thing. The link is in the description below. The most important thing, of course, besides liking, sharing, and subscribing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.